Welcome back. This is an exercise lesson, and in this lesson, we'll apply some of the skills we learned during the array tutorials in this course to create a toothed gear. Let me begin by bringing in a few circles. First, I'll specify the center point, let's say 20, tab 12, press enter, and the radius will make 10 units. Let's create a second circle now, coincident to the first. Just wake up the center of the first circle, place the center there, and this radius will be 7 units. Now I'm going to drop a vertical line, so let's snap ortho mode on. I need this line to cross both circles. Press escape to exit the tool, and let's activate the polar array command. Select my object, the line. Now right click and select the center of the array. I'm going to specify the parameters of the array, three items, tab to register at 40 degrees, tab to register again, and let's change the direction. For this example, I'm going to leave the associative option on, and I'll click close array. Now since we've created an associative array, we have one single entity rather than unique entities, so before activating the trim tool, I need to explode my array. Let's select the array, right click. Now we have individual items. Okay, let's activate the trim tool. We press enter to trim everything by everything else. And we just make our selections with a left click. This line and this line here. Couple more. The rest of these lines I won't be able to trim as you see here when I click nothing happens. The way around this is to use the erase command instead of the trim command. Right click, erase. Now make the selection. And the lines are erased. Right click to close the tool. Activate the array tool again. Window select our items. Right click to finish. Let's awaken the center of the circle and specify the number of items. We'll use a calculation for this. Let's say 360 degrees divided by 40. Tab. Our result is nine items. The fill angle, 360. Let's accept our work. Now let's create some holes. Activate the circle tool. Wake up the center of our main circle. We'll give this one a one unit radius. Activate the line tool. And we'll make this line three units in length. Press enter to accept. Bring in the circle tool again. This radius will be 0.5 units. Let's activate the polar array command. Select the small circle, right click to finish the selection. Now select the center. And the number of items will make three. Tab to register. Let's close the array. And I'll select this line and delete it. Now let's apply some hatch. I'll change the scale to five. And let's close. And this concludes our exercise tutorial, and here is our toothed gear.